Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to talk to you about side dressing your tomato plants. What does that mean and how do you do it? I side dress my plants probably at least two times a year. I will do it a third time in August if the plants are healthy and doing well. Today's July 4th, so this is my second side dressing. The tomatoes are anywhere from five feet to almost seven feet. One of the tomatoes here coming up on the left is now almost seven feet tall. I'm really proud of the garden this year. It's staying healthy, it's growing well, and I'm holding uh, true to what I started in the beginning that I'm gonna try and do a uh, sort of video blog of everything I do. When you side dress tomato plants, you wanna use a pelleted fertilizer. I also put in pelleted lime. Lime is really helpful to get calcium into your plant to prevent blossom end rot. I'm gonna show you how to do it and talk about it more in detail right now. There's a couple things to keep in mind when you side dress the tomato plants. At this point, this is the second feeding. It's uh, July 4th, like I said. I don't want really high nitrogen. I don't want leaf growth right now. I mean, I do, but I don't want to give it too much nitrogen because I want to more support the growth of the green tomatoes. So this happens to be, a, I think, a 2-5-3 fertilizer. The 5 is the phosphorus. It's a little bit higher, but I don't want you to get too concerned about it. At most, I recommend a 10-10-10 fertilizer um, all the way down to really whatever you want to use. I just happen to have this product. It's an organic product. I'm trying to, actually I'm doing some of these plants totally organic fertilizer. Some plants are totally chemical fertilizer. And I can tell you right now, I can't tell the difference between the plants. But my belief is the organic products really help support the life in the soil. So I'm giving it a try. So again, I feed these plants twice with side dressings, once in, uh, once in June when the plants are probably, you know, about this tall, starting to flower, or when they flower and they get, you know, small green fruit, they'll get a side dressing. And then again in July when they're, they're much bigger. The most important thing, really, is to make sure you don't pile the fertilizer in clumps around the stalk. What'll happen is you'll concentrate the fertilizer here it can burn the root system and because it's so close to the stem, imagine that this is a pile of fertilizer, it's going to go straight down, it's going to burn the roots and it's going to kill off the roots from here all the way out. So you can really, really damage your plant by piling the pelleted fertilizer around the stem. So what you want to do is stay about six inches away, well this way, six inches away from the stem and scatter the fertilizer around it just like that. This is a four by six in index card. I also know my hand is a little more than six inches. So just, that's really important. I want to stress it. Don't pile the fertilizer or even the lime around the stem. Pull it out, uh, scatter it out about six inches away from it. For fertilizer, and again, I don't want you to stress about the concentration of, you know, the potassium, phosphorus, and nitrogen. Just pick a fertilizer you're comfortable with. And I do about, I don't know, maybe three, four tablespoons of the fertilizer, just like that. Tomatoes have surface roots, so when it rains or you water this, the fertilizer will sink into the soil if it gets to the surface roots. It'll get down a little bit further. And that's how I side dress the tomato plant with the uh, pelleted fertilizer. It's a slow release fertilizer. Do not use, second thing, don't use a water soluble fertilizer. You don't want to put that out here. You water it once, it rains once, and it all just washes into the, to the plant system. You want it to go in slowly. Now for lime, this is a 12 ounce cup, and I did a video using this before. Uh, four to eight ounces per one to two square feet. That's about this space, and same thing, you can just, scattered around just like that and that's basically a side dressing again don't follow exactly what I do keep the fertilizer and lime six inches away from the stem feel comfortable using the products you choose but this is the basic way that you side dress and this will really help the plant grow through July it'll give it the extra fertilizer it needs for the fruit production you know take care of the leaves and the stalk just try not to use a high-end nitrogen fertilizer. You don't want to really go past 10 on the nitrogen uh, number for your fertilizer. And that will take care of this plant for July. Hope you enjoyed the video and you get an idea of what side dressing means, how to do it in your garden, and you can decide you know how often you want to do it. I recommend 
first time is usually in May when the fruit, uh, when the plants are flowering and you have small green fruit. And then the second time is somewhere in the first week of July when your plants are tall and they're growing really well, hopefully. And then if my plants are doing well again, I will do it one more time in the beginning of August. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.